gravity can do some pretty astonishing things out there in the universe. It is the invisible force that is playing arts and crafts with cosmic matter, crushing gas and dust into radiant new stars, smoothing clumpy rock into spherical planets, and smushing entire galaxies together. Gravity nudges galaxies toward one another, sometimes two, sometimes more, until they meet, their contents whooshing and mixing, and the slow-moving chaos molds them all into one big galactic ball. Galaxy mergers are some of the most imagination-sparking events in the universe. Sure, supernovas are cool and so are collisions of black holes, but galaxy mergers have all of that and more. The Andromeda Galaxy, our Milky Way's closest neighbor, is the most distant object in the sky that you can see with your naked eye, but only on a clear night from a location with a very dark sky. The galaxy is a beautiful spiral, but you may not be aware that Andromeda is headed our way and on a collision course with the Milky Way. Our galaxy is on a collision course. In a few billion years, the Milky Way will smash into the rapidly approaching Andromeda Galaxy, and that's when everything will change for humanity. Is the collision already taking place? What will happen when the Andromeda Galaxy completely merges with the Milky Way, and how long do we have before this major cosmic event takes place? Join us today as we tell you the terrifying truth about the Andromeda Galaxy and its collision with our Milky Way. Before discussing this galaxy merger, it's important to know more about the Andromeda Galaxy. Among the few galaxies that can be seen with the naked eye, the Andromeda Galaxy appears as a fuzzy milky dot. It is roughly 2.48 million light years away from Earth, has a diameter of around 200,000 light years, and has many similarities to our own Milky Way galaxy. In 965 CE, the Islamic astronomer Al Sufi described it in his book of the fixed stars. In 1612, shortly after the creation of the telescope, the German astronomer Simon Marius discovered it again and said that it looked like the light from a candle seen through a horn. For a long time, astronomers thought of the Andromeda Galaxy as a tenant of the Milky Way or a spiral nebula like the Milky Way and other nearby luminous gas clouds, hence the misnomer Andromeda Nebula. Andromeda was considered part of the Milky Way until it was clearly identified as a separate galaxy by American astronomer Edwin Powell Hubble in the 1920s. Astronomers sometimes call the Andromeda Galaxy by the name Messier 31 or M31. It was the 31st on a famous list of faint objects compiled by the French astronomer Charles Messier. His catalogue listed objects to avoid when comet hunting. Nowadays, amateur astronomers seek out these objects with their telescopes and binoculars as some of the most beautiful deep sky objects known. Most Messier objects are star clusters or gas clouds in our Milky Way galaxy, but the Andromeda galaxy is a whole separate galaxy, even bigger than our Milky Way. In a dark sky, you can see that it's a big sky as well, a smudge of distant light larger than a full moon. Like the Milky Way, Andromeda contains a concentrated bulge of matter in the middle surrounded by a disk of gas, dust and stars and a massive halo. Though Andromeda contains approximately a trillion stars to the 250 billion in the Milky Way, our galaxy is actually more massive because it is thought to contain more dark matter. In the future, Andromeda will be bright in our sky, growing larger and larger as it gets closer and closer to us. Even though the two galaxies are still 2.5 million light years apart, the eventual merger of our two galaxies has in fact already begun. The Andromeda Galaxy is currently racing toward our Milky Way at a speed of about 70 miles, 113 kilometers per second. With this in mind, our merger will occur 5 billion years from now. But in August 2020, the peer-reviewed Astrophysical Journal published new research revealing that the collision between our galaxies is already underway. The news about the Andromeda Galaxy came from Project Amiga, which uses the Hubble Space Telescope to look at the deep space surroundings of the Andromeda Galaxy. Amiga stands for Absorption Map of Ionized Gas in Andromeda. Astronomers estimate that Andromeda will collide with the Milky Way in 4 billion years, with the merger concluding 6 billion years from now. By that time, the Sun will have swollen into a red giant and swallowed up the terrestrial planets, so Earth will have other things to worry about. Still, the fresh influx of dust should boost star formation in the new Milkometer galaxy, and the Earthless Sun may well leave the Milky Way for good. 
After a messy phase where arms project crazily from the combined pair, the two should settle into a smooth elliptical galaxy. Galaxy collisions are a normal part of the universe's evolution. In fact, both Andromeda and the Milky Way bear signs of having already crashed into other galaxies. Andromeda boasts a large ring of dust in its center, giving it an interesting shape. Astronomers believe this dust may have formed when it swallowed an existing galaxy. Our understanding of the vastness of the Andromeda galaxy has grown significantly in recent years. The Andromeda galaxy, our Milky Way, and other galaxies all sit enshrouded in a large envelope called a galactic halo, which consists of gas, dust, and stray stars. The halos of galaxies are faint, so faint in fact, that detecting them is not an easy feat. The astronomers measured the size of the halo of the Andromeda galaxy by looking at how much it absorbed light from background quasars. They were surprised to find that the Andromeda galaxy's halo stretches far beyond its visible boundaries. 2015 Hubble Space Telescope studies revealed that the Andromeda galaxy's halo is six times more massive and 1,000 times more vast than was previously thought. At the time, astronomers believed the Milky Way might also have a halo, and perhaps the two galaxies' halos were already starting to mix. This was followed by revised size estimates in 2005 and 2007 based on observing stars and star motions. Using a mosaic of Hubble Space Telescope pictures, scientists in 2015 unveiled the highest resolution picture of Andromeda to date. The image included 7,398 exposures recorded over 411 pointings of the telescope. More than 100 million stars were visible in the image, along with dust formations and other features. At the time, scientists suggested the photographs might help with extrapolating the structure of spiral galaxies that are even more distant from Earth, making them more challenging to study in such detail. Even black hole happenings in Andromeda were investigated. In late 2017, scientists unexpectedly identified two supermassive black holes closely orbiting one another. At the time, the study team said these black holes were possibly the most tightly connected of any supermassive ones known. A search using NASA's Chandra X-ray Telescope yielded 26 black hole candidates in Andromeda in 2013, making this the biggest catch of candidates ever found in another galaxy beside our Milky Way. Another 40 black holes were tracked down in 2016 using NASA's Nuclear Spectroscopic Telescope Array, New Star, which specializes in X-ray observations. Scientists tracked down a probable pulsar, a dead star that spins rapidly in Andromeda in 2017. The X-ray source was first catalogued by NASA's SWIFT satellite as object SWIFT J00426 plus 4112 and then characterized by New Star. The newer observation found that this object's light spectrum resembles the Milky Way pulsars. Other miscellaneous discoveries in Andromeda include tracking star birth and death in infrared wavelengths in 2011, discovering gamma-ray radiation in 2017 that could be an indication of dark matter, a substance that is only known through its effects on ordinary matter, such as galaxies, and spotting a ring of dwarf galaxies around Andromeda in 2013, something that could also be present around the Milky Way. NASA made the news of the two galaxies merge a public in 2012. The collision between Andromeda and the Milky Way will result in a new, larger galaxy, but rather than being a spiral like its forebearers, this new system will end up as a giant elliptical. Scientists have named the new galaxy Milkdromeda that will result from the merger. The Andromeda and Milky Way galaxies reign as the two most massive and dominant galaxies within the local group of galaxies. The Andromeda Galaxy is the largest galaxy of the local group, which, in addition to the Milky Way, also contains the Triangulum Galaxy and about 30 other smaller galaxies. Both the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxies lay claim to about a dozen satellite galaxies. Both are some 100,000 light-years across, containing enough mass to make billions of stars. And astronomers have discovered that our local group is on the outskirts of a giant cluster of several thousand galaxies, which astronomers call the Virgo Cluster. We also know of an irregular supercluster of galaxies which contains the Virgo Cluster, which in turn contains our local group, which in turn contains our Milky Way galaxy and the nearby Andromeda galaxy. At least 100 galaxy groups and clusters are located within this Virgo supercluster. Its diameter is thought to be about 110 million light-years. 
the Virgo supercluster is thought to be one of the millions of superclusters in the observable universe. Astronomers previously thought that Andromeda was up to three times as massive as the Milky Way, and they expected that our galaxy would be easily overpowered and absorbed into our larger neighbor. But now new research suggests we've overestimated our opponent. In a study published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, a team of Australian astronomers announced that Andromeda is not actually the heavyweight we once thought it was. Instead, they found that our nearest galactic neighbor is more or less the same mass as the Milky Way, some 800 billion times the mass of the Sun. We can safely say that the Milky Way is not nearly as overpowered by Andromeda as we once thought. But what will happen when both of these giant galaxies merge with each other, and what will impact on our planet? This is a growing concern. Although it may seem like something out of a science fiction movie, Andromeda and the Milky Way galaxy are actually on a collision course, and scientists have known about this impending collision for years and have carefully monitored the two galaxies to see how they interact. While the final outcome is still uncertain, researchers expect some dramatic changes when the two galaxies finally meet. Some scientists believe that the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxy's collision could cause our galaxy to change its shape. A merger could cause the Milky Way's spiral arms to merge and form a new, thicker disk. The merger could also cause our galaxy to spin faster. The merger of the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies will be a spectacular event to watch. We can only witness it once because after it happens, the two galaxies will be merged forever. When the two galaxies collide, there will be a lot of destruction. The stars in the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies will merge, creating new stars. However, many of the stars in both galaxies are old and won't survive the collision. The gas and dust between the stars will also be compressed, causing them to heat up and glow. Astronomers believe the collision will be a beautiful sight despite all the destruction. The new stars created by the collision will shine brightly, and the gas and dust will create a spectacular Milky Way Andromeda Galaxy hybrid. Considering the age of the cosmos, 4 billion years seems like a relatively long period of time. Before their collision, the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies had been orbiting each other for nearly 9 billion years, and they will continue to do so for another 5 billion years after the collision, so in a sense, we will get to see the collision twice. It's also estimated that the collision will cause a lot of damage, the stars in the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies will collide and merge, creating massive explosions. These explosions will send shockwaves through the galaxies, causing even more damage. The gas and dust between the stars will also collide. This will create vast clouds of gas and dust that will block the light from the stars. This will make the galaxies very dark and challenging to study. The collision will also cause new stars to form. Some of these stars will be very large and powerful. They will have a short lifespan and will explode as supernovas. Scientists are still trying to figure out what will happen when the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies collide. However, they do know that it will cause a lot of destruction. By studying how the two galaxies interact, they can develop plans to minimize the damage. The collision is expected to happen around 4.5 billion years from now, so there is still time to prepare. Many possible outcomes of a head-on collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies exist. The impact could release large quantities of gas and dust into space. This may inhibit the formation of new stars and impede the seeing of distant stars. If the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies collide, they might eventually join. It would result in a brand new galaxy that is significantly bigger than either of the two constituent galaxies. According to some predictions by scientists, the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies could also fragment due to the collision. As a result, instead of one larger galaxy, there would be two smaller galaxies that would orbit each other. The Milky Way and Andromeda each contain a central supermassive black hole. These black holes will eventually spiral into one another and converge near the center of the newly formed galaxy over a period that may take millions of years. When the supermassive black holes come within one light year of another, they will begin to strongly emit gravitational waves that will radiate further orbital energy until they merge ultimately. Gas taken up by the combined black holes could create an active galactic nucleus. If this happens, it will release an unbelievable amount of energy. 
At this point, you may be wondering what will happen to our solar system in the future. Scientists believe there is a 50% likelihood that the solar system will be blown out three times farther from the galactic center in a combined galaxy than it is now. The solar system, including our Sun, is located in a spiral arm of the galaxy known as the Orion Spur. Our solar system would crash down right at the end of this arm if we were hurled further out. Sometime during the collision, scientists estimate there is a 12% possibility that the solar system will be completely expelled from the newly formed galaxy. However, for some reassurance, humanity will be extinct by then. If we rule out the possibility of human-caused disruptions to the sun and planets, such an event would have no deleterious effects on the solar system. Even though all terrestrial life will have perished by the time the two galaxies collide because the surface of the Earth has become too hot for liquid water to exist due to the gradually increasing luminosity of the Sun, our planet will still be caught in the middle of this collision and its view of the universe will never be the same. If we could, however, see the night sky still, whether from the hellish perspective of Earth or the far reaches of the outer solar system, Andromeda would be growing larger in the sky and eventually, about 4 billion years from now, it could possibly stretch from horizon to horizon like a serene rainbow of dew. Of course, over the last 12 billion years, the Milky Way is thought to have devoured a dozen or more galaxies, including the fittingly dubbed Gaia Sausage Merger. Galaxies are clusters of stars bound together by gravity and composed of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter. Their interactions with star clusters and other galaxies over billions of years change their appearance and composition. Scientists can use supercomputers to mimic the formation and evolution of galaxies from the early cosmos to the present day. Theoretically, galaxies start out as tiny, whirling clouds of stars and dust. Gravity causes these items to crash against one another and knit together into larger whirling packs when more clouds approach. When galaxies collide, the debris is sometimes sent outwards where it can form long spiral arms populated by star systems. The merger of Andromeda and the Milky Way will definitely be one of the biggest mergers we will ever see, but this phenomenon has been happening in the cosmos for billions and trillions of years. We still have 4 billion years till the collision, but you can see the Andromeda galaxy here from Earth and wonder about the future. To find Andromeda, it's easiest to start with the constellation Cassiopeia. For Northern Hemisphere stargazers, Cassiopeia is what's known as a circumpolar constellation, which means that it's always visible above the horizon. Look towards the northeast and you'll recognize Cassiopeia by the distinctive W star pattern that its five brightest stars make. Once you've found Cassiopeia, you can use the right-hand half of the W as an arrow pointing towards Andromeda. The distance between Cassiopeia and Andromeda is about three times the height of the W. With the naked eye, Andromeda will be extremely faint, but if you have a pair of binoculars, look through them and you'll see what looks like a cloud. That's an entire galaxy. Our Milky Way galaxy is destined to collide with our closest large neighbor, the Andromeda galaxy, in about 4 billion years. According to NASA, the merger will totally alter the night sky over Earth, but will likely leave the solar system unharmed. Our Sun will be a red giant when we merge with Andromeda, engulfing Mercury and Venus and then Earth as it grows to a diameter as large as Earth's current orbit. But the Sun can cause a lot of trouble for us well before that time. Astronomers from the California Institute of Technology foretell how the two galaxies will become one. They watch previews by studying other galaxy mergers, creating energetic new star-forming regions and smashing their central black holes together in a burst of gravitational waves. Scientists have a few theories about how the two galaxies might collide. It's possible that they will merge or that Andromeda will pass through the Milky Way. However, it's more likely that they will hit each other head-on. The consequences of this collision are still being studied, but scientists believe it could cause massive damage to both galaxies. The future holds many possibilities, but for now we are left with theories and speculations that will be proved over time.